Hello and welcome to MegZone. In the previous lecture, we have started with the analysis of rack and pinion and we have discussed that rack is the biggest gear in the history of gears such that it is having infinite pitch circle in diameter. Now from this lecture onward, we shall be starting with the involute gear system. Involute gear system. And in the involute gear system, we first have to study about the full depth involute. And the full depth involute actually corresponds to 14 and a half degree or either 20 degree pressure angle. Okay. Here, addendum is equals to standard addendum and this is equals to 1 module it is equals to 1 module so m into a is equals to 1 module simply implies that a is equals to 1 okay so addendum of the pinion addendum of the gear addendum of the rack all are equal to 1 in case of full depth involute now we come to stubbed involute or stub involute and stub involute is generally having either 20 degree or 25 degree pressure angle here the addendum is less than the standard addendum so we will get a is less than one so we have to remember these values that a is equals to one in case of full depth and a is less than one in case of stub involute and we also have to remember the ranges of these pressure angles and one important formula that i would like to tell you is base circle dia is equals to pitch circle dia into cos phi this is a very important formula hai, which is used in many of the numericals which are asked in gate esc and ssc j kafi sare numerical matlab puche gaye directly is formula pe. so if you are remembering this formula so you can directly solve it so A is less than 1 simply means AP, AG, AR, they all are less than 1. And I would like to tell you that 20 degree stub involute is the best gear of the market. So 20 degree stub involute hai, 20 degree stub involute is actually the best gear of market ye market ka sabse best gear mana jata hai ab why it is called as the best gear of the market so first point is lesser interference is present kafi interference is mein kam hota hai the second is minimum number of teeth required is less to avoid interference a minimum number of teeth ki jo requirement hai interference ko rokne ke liye wo bhi isme kafi kam hai third is cost is less cost bhi kam hoti hai fourth is stronger tooth the tooth is also stronger in nature Next, we come to another important formula. I will simply uh, discuss the main formula part because derivation is not important. We are not going to derive anything. So, our discussion would be on minimum number of teeth requirement. Minimum number of teeth requirement on pinion and gear to avoid interference what would be the minimum number of teeth requirement on the gear and the pinion in order to uh, avoid any sort of interference so what i will do is i will simply write down the formulae because only formulas are important and i mainly focus on the formulae and hence we will write it down so r a is equals to r under root 1 plus g g plus 2 sine square phi so what we will do here is addendum on pinion is equals to ra minus r so what we will do is ra the value of ra has been given and we will subtract r so what we will obtain r 1 plus g g plus 2 sine square phi minus 1 so we have subtracted r from r a 
and R A we know that the value of R is M T upon 2 so instead of T we will write T minimum that is minimum number of T's on the pinion 1 plus G G plus 2 sine square phi minus 1 it is equals to R A R A is equals to M into A P where M is the module and to avoid interference and AP is the fractional addendum of pinion it is called as the fractional addendum of pinion so here so from here we will obtain T minimum is equals to 2 times AP upon 1 plus G G plus 2 sine square phi minus 1 so this would be the formula for number of minimum number of t's required on the pinion to avoid interference such that g is called as the gear ratio and gear ratio is equal to number of t's on the gear upon number of t's on the pinion or omega of the pinion upon omega of the gear is also called as the gear ratio similarly if we write down the minimum number of t's requirement for the gear it would be capital T minimum is equals to 2 into fractional addendum of the gear whole upon 1 plus 1 upon g 1 upon g plus 2 we will simply reciprocal sine square phi minus 1 so this would be the minimum number of teeth requirement on the gear and this is the minimum number of teeth requirement on the pinion now these formulas are not applicable for rack and pinion please mind that these formulas are not applicable for rack and pinion so now I will write down the formula for the minimum number of teeth on the rack and it is T minimum is equals to 2 a r upon sine square phi this is form this formula is actually used for rack and pinion and hence we see that this formula is free from gear ratio this formula is absolutely free from gear ratio okay so this formula is very very important and some note points here is what is the maximum value of path of approach it would be small r sin phi and maximum value of path of recess it is equals to capital R sin phi so we ha also have to remember these formulas because once in SSCJ it was asked directly the data r sin phi capital R was given and we have to find out the ratio of the maximum value of path of approach to the maximum value of path of recess so it can be directly found out from this formula and we see that the minimum number of teeth which are required on the pinion in order to avoid interference is coming out to be 2 a r upon sin square phi so this is actually the minimum number of teeth on the pinion not on the rack rack pinion is pinion and this is number of teeth minimum in order to avoid interference in involute rack and pinion arrangement so what we are doing is we are mainly controlling the addendum of the rack so rack ka addendum hum log mainly haan par control karte hain ok to agar maan lije if by somehow or by some chance you are getting the addendum of gear and pinion to be equal agar by somehow chance aapka addendum or gear मतलब सॉरी अडेंडम ऑफ द गियर एंड पिनियन दोनों बराबर आ जाए तो सबसे पहले हम क्या करेंगे फर्स्ट द गियर मस्ट बी मेड सेफ फर्स्ट द गियर इज मेड सेफ तो गियर को मेड सेफ करेंगे तो सबसे पहले हम लोग टी मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट निकालेंगे गियर के लिए ठीक है तो टी मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट गियर के लिए निकालेंगे तो हमारा जो पिनियन है वो ऑटोमेटिकली सेफ हो जाएगा अगर हमारा गियर सेफ हो गया तो हमारा पिनियन विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली सेम ठीक है और अगर अडेंडम क्वेश्चन में आपको नहीं दिया होता टेक इट एज वन इफ द अडेंडम इज नॉट गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन टेक इट एज वन एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द टी मिनिमम इज कमिंग आउट टू बी फोर्टी पॉइंट टू सो वी विल नियरली टेक इट एज फोर्टी 
वन और अगर थर्टीन पॉइंट जीरो वन भी आ रहा है देन ऑल्सो वी विल टेक इट एज फोर्टीन ओके तो प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दीज थिंग्स अबाउट द राउंडिंग ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ टीथ रिक्वायरमेंट और अगर आपको सबसे पहले हम टी मिनिमम निकालेंगे उसके बाद हमें पता है जी इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल टी मिनिमम अपॉन स्मॉल टी मिनिमम मतलब जो गियर रेशियो है वो हमारा दिया होगा तो वहां से हम लोग टी मिनिमम निकाल लेंगे ठीक है तो टी मिनिमम निकालने के लिए हम फिर से टी मिनिमम का फॉर्मूला नहीं लगाएंगे प्लीज कीप इन माइंड वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला फॉर टी मिनिमम अगेन फर्स्ट वी विल कैलकुलेट द टी मिनिमम फॉर द गियर एंड करस्पॉन्डिंगली वी विल कीप इन द फॉर्मूला ऑफ गियर रेशियो एंड देन वी विल फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ टीम्स ऑन द पिनियन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू अप्लाई द कन्वेंशनल फॉर्मूला एज वी हैव स्टडीड बिफोर ओके सो पॉइंट टू बी रिमेंबर इज इफ द गेयर इज सेफ then the pinion is automatically safe the second is what are is the minimum number of t's which are required and the third one is g should be maintained that is gear ratio should be maintained okay so these were the points which were regarding the rack and the pinion and also the minimum number of t's requirement now we will discuss something about the variation of center distance how the center distance between the two gears is actually getting Uh, varied due by means of vibration and we definitely know when the two gears are working then there is some vibration in the system and because of this vibration the center distance is also getting changed so whenever there is vibration in the system then because of the vibrations the following things will happen first is the center distance will change the center distance between the two gears will be changed next is the pitch circle is changing pitch circle is changing next is pitch uh, point p is also changing the pitch point is also changing phi is also changing that is the pressure angle but base circle is not changing the base circle is not getting changed hence all the rest all the values are changing so this question was also asked in one of the interviews that because of the vibrations in the gear which quantity remains same that is the base circle is not changing hence the base circle radius is equated in order to find out the distance which is getting changed and some note points the first note point is the involute profile is fully convex involute profile is fully convex and the second important point is the cycloidal the cycloidal profile is that the face is convex and the flank portion is concave the face is convex and the flank is concave so we must remember these things because they have also been asked in gate and esc and ssc je for one marks questions okay uh, uh now we will start with the analysis of the cycloidal cycloidal profile we have already finished with the involute profile now we shall be moving on with the cycloidal profile and the cycloidal profile by nature is also conjugate by nature it is conjugate that means it is also following the law of gearing how will be defined the cycloidal profile it is defined as the locus of a point on the circumference of a circle which rolls without slipping on a fixed line so what is it this is a fixed line this is a circle and a point is considered on the circumference of the circle such that the circle is slipping on a fixed straight line so this is actually the locus of this point and this is the locus of the point is actually the cycloidal profile 
is actually the cycloidal profile okay so what is it here we will see that by definition it seems to be just opposite as compared to the definition of the involute profile so involute ka absolutely opposite ho jata hai definition ka to iska jo face hota hai wo convex hota hai flank hota hai that is concave and flank jo hota hai wo generally wider hota hai as compared to the face theek hai so this was about the cycloidal profile ab kuch agar iski baat kare to per tooth cost agar if we talk about the per tooth cost is more as compared to the involute profile but overall cost of gear is almost same but overall cost is almost same the overall cost aati hai almost same aati hai ya somehow kabhi kabhi less bhi aa jati hai as compared to the involute profile aur yahan par jo hamara hota hai interference is absent इंटरफेरेंस इज एब्सोल्यूटली एबसेंट इन केस ऑफ दी साइक्लॉइडल प्रोफाइल एंड वी सी दैट द फ्लैंक्स आर वाइडर एंड हेंस दे आर स्ट्रॉगर टूथ दे आर स्ट्रॉगर टूथ वाई बिकॉज द फ्लैंक इज वाइडर एंड फेस वी सी दैट द फेस इज कॉन्वेक्स एंड द फ्लैंक इज कॉन्केव इन नेचर दीज साइक्लॉइडल गेयर्स एक्चुअली हैव मोर लाइफ लाइफ इज मोर फॉर सच टाइप ऑफ गेयर्स why it is because already undercut tooth undercut tooth are being manufactured okay the tea the tooth which are being manufactured are undercut beforehand and hence their life is already more and we see that here the phi can be change that is phi is changing but in the involute profile the phi was constant and changing simply means it can have the following values it can either be maximum it can either be zero or it can either be minimum now this question was also asked in one of the examinations that the value of phi is maximum when it is maximum it is maximum at the start of engagement when the engagement starts the value of pressure angle is maximum it is zero where it is zero it is zero at the pitch point and where it is minimum it is minimum sorry it is not minimum again it becomes maximum it is first maximum then reduces to zero and then again it becomes maximum and maximum it is at the end of engagement it is at the end of engagement so the value of phi that is the pressure angle varies between maximum zero and again maximum at the start of engagement at the pitch point at the end of engagement okay so uh, one thing we would uh, like to tell you all that because of the vibration the vibration effects are generally so severe that omega 1 upon omega 2 ratio can not be maintained constant in some of the situations jahan par vibration ke effects bahut zyada severe ho jayenge wahan par hamara omega 1 upon omega 2 ko constant bana pana thoda mushkil ho jata hai and one more formula i would like to discuss at the last of this chapter and that formula is time contact what is the ratio of a formula for time contact so time contact simply means arc of contact upon the rolling velocity and rolling velocity is simply r into omega so rolling velocity is r into omega so with this we come to the end of this lecture we hope you are liking our lecture so kindly give us your valuable feedbacks and also you can share your problems on our facebook page on on our channel uh, and we will revert back within 48 hours and we would try to solve that problem and you can download all the study material absolutely from uh, for free from the description section of this video and we have also added one live interview session with engineer rajveer who has cleared the sbi pun examination so you can go through it and see what are the difficulties that are generally faced while going for an examination okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we shall be starting with the new chapter that is gear 12
ट्रेन्स सो थैंक यू सो मच